What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to link projects to our building model. Okay, and then also we are going to manage the locations of our uh, link projects. So the first thing that we'll be doing, so let's link project. Okay, so currently I'm on the 3D model. You can link your model in 3D view, but I prefer going to a floor plan. So for this one, I'm gonna open the level one. Okay, and then for the link, just go to the Insert tab, Link Panel, and then look for Link Revit. So you can click this one, and then let's select the model that we're going to link. So let's say, for example, the main building. Okay, so before you open that, so you also have here uh, positioning. Okay, so you can speci uh, specify there what's the position of your model. So auto internal origin to internal origin so you can select this option to place the origin of the incoming geometry at the center of the revit host another option there is uh, auto center to center so you can select this option to place the center of the incoming geometry at the center of the host revit model and then you also have here your auto shared by coordinates which is uh, most of the time, so this is the option that we are using is if let's say we are doing the MEP and then we have the architectural model. So 100% the architectural model, when they create that model, they put the coordinates on that one. So for you to be able to link that architectural model properly to your uh, MEP model, for example, so you need to use auto shared by coordinates so select this option to place the incoming geometry in the uh, in the host revit model based on the shared coordinates and then you also have this uh, auto project base point to project base point so you can select this option to align the project base point of the link revit model with the project base point of the host revit model and take note that this option is only available for the link Revit, which is uh, this one. Okay, so remember this is only available on the link Revit tool. Okay, and then of course you have here some uh, manual things like internal origin. So you can select this option to display the incoming geometry in the current view with your cursor placed at the origin of the import or link model. And then the other one here is center and base point. So you can move your uh, link model and then place it to the location where you want to uh, place that one. But for this exercise, I'm just going to use here uh, auto center to center. Anyway, I'm going to move this manually. So I'll select this one and then I'll select here open. And take note that if you're using a lower version of link model, automatically Revit will convert that to your current Revit version. So in our case, it's Revit 2023. Okay, so that's now our model. And then after that, we're going to move that manually here. So we want to place that there. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select here, um, move. And then I'm going to pick this base point here. And then I'm going to uncheck the constraint here so I can move that freely and then I'm going to snap here so as you can see it's not snapping so what you do is before you click you press the tab once and then as you can see your pointer will go to that corner to show the snap endpoint so once you see that click to place the link model there you go so it's now placed so this is now our model so let's check that one out in the 3d view so this is now how it looks like okay right so the next thing that we will be doing so let's go back again to our level one so let's link another model here so link revit all right so i'm gonna link the module classroom module so let's click that one open again it's converting to 2023 let's wait okay and then after that we are going to rotate that uh, manually okay all right so it's now here so I want that to be placed so let's say here so I want to rotate this like uh, 45 degrees 
So I'm going to select the link model, modify panel, let's look for the rotate. So you click that and then you pick the base point somewhere here and then move up, type 45 and then enter. There you go. Okay, and then we are going to move it here. Okay, so let's move. So let's click our link model. So let's use the move tool. And then after that, I'm going to select the midpoint here as my base point. And then I'm going to snap it here. And there you go. Okay, and then we're going to uh, copy this. So let's copy our link model. So by the way, every time you link your model in the in your current project, you'll be able to see it here as well on the project browser. So you can click that, Revit links, and then you can see the model there. Okay, and then you can also go to the Insert tab, look for Manage Links. You click that, and then on the Revit tab, so you'll be able to see the two models that you have linked. Okay, if you click the classroom module, so you have several options here. You can remove, you can add link, you can unload it, you can reload, or you can reload from if ever there is an updated model. So you just need to reload from or reload. All right, so I'm just going to cancel this. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror, oh, copy, it, copy this one first. So let's click this, copy. All right, and then let me click this corner and then let's snap it here like that and then modify and then this two model here we are going to mirror that to the other side here so let's click one hold control and then click the other one to select both and then let's use the mirror here okay All right, so I'm going to select these two here, mirror, pick axis, and then I'm going to pick this as my axis, so click that, and it's now mirrored to the other side. So let's modify this to terminate the two, and then let's check in the 3D view. And there you go. So there's now our uh, model. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to update a link and um, manage the link visibility. So let's say, for example... For my classroom module, let me go to the level one. I want to change the location of my door. So let's say instead of the door here, I want the door to be placed somewhere here. Okay, so we want to modify our uh, classroom module link model. So to do that, so there are a couple of ways to uh, make that happen. So let's go to the project browser. And then here on our Revit links, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, select here the classroom module link. Let's right click that and then we can select here open and unload. So let's click that open and unload. Okay, so it's now being open again since that is 2012. So it is being converted to 2023. And as you can see here, there's an X icon. So that means that the classroom module now is unloaded. That's why it disappears on our main model. So now this is our classroom module project file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this one. So I'm going to save as I do not want to override the original model. So save as project. I'm going to put it here. So let's say I'm going to call this classroom module. So let's say... 
uh, new and then I'll just save this now I want to change the location of the door or let's say I just want to add so I want to add another door here so let's select here architecture so let's select door and then let's check the properties so I'll just use a single flash door so I'm gonna place one here click there's the door so let me flip that to the other side like that and there you go okay so that's all so that's the only thing that I want to do on that model I just want to add another door here okay now the next thing that we are gonna do is we are going to uh, load this back to our uh, main model okay so let's do that so let's go back again to our main site let me just close this one okay I already updated our C classroom module new I already added a new door so I'm gonna close that file and then let's just save that yes and then going back to our main model to reload that you can go to the manage links so as you can see there's the classroom module so you can select here reload from you only select reload if you don't change the file name and you didn't change the location of the file but since we changed the file name and let's say we also change the location of the file so it's reload from so that's the option that you'll be using so you can do it here on the man manage links tab or you can go back again to your project browser right click that and then you can select here reload from so I click reload from so let's see what happens first if we select reload okay so I selected reload so as you can see it will reload the old one okay okay it's reloading the old one and this is the old one right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this and then I'm going to unload that okay so it's now disappears so that let me right click this this time I'm going to select reload from so let's click reload from and then where's the new one so there's the new one and then I'll select here new so this will not uh, upgrade anymore because this is already 2023 version so let's open that and there you go and it's now updated so that's how you modify it okay so that's how you update your model and let's say for example I'm gonna go to the south elevation here okay so this is the south uh, south elevation so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to hide some of the levels okay so as you can see I have so many levels here so if I click this one so it contains its own levels right so if I click this one here that one also have its own level okay so if I click this one so it also has its own level so what I want to do is I want to hide the levels of the link model and then I only want to show here my uh, level let's say this this one here the level 2 and then the level 1 of my current project so I do not want to show the levels of the link model so to do that you can go to the properties and then go to the visibility graphic overrides click the edit or you can also type VV okay Victor Victor so you can type that to open the visibility graphic overrides and then let's go to the rabbit links I want to control the link model right so that's why you go to the rabbit links do not go to the annotation categories and let's say you hide the level here because what will happen if you uncheck that and then you select OK it will also hide the level of our main project which is what we do not want to happen so I'm going to undo that so undo there you go so let's go back again to our visibility graphic overrides this time so let's go to the Revit links and then we want to hide the classroom module level so let's go to buy host so you customize it so you click custom and annotation categories change this to custom 
and then you can now look for levels so you uncheck that one and then you okay that's for the classroom module new so okay and there you go it now disappeared so I want to hide also the level of my main building okay so same procedure so let's go to the visibility graphic override so let's go to Revit links uh, main building by host view you click custom annotation categories go to custom and then let's look for levels and check okay okay there you have it okay so basically that's how you link your uh, model all right and that's how you update your model and control the visibility of your model. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.